and you're like, come on, baby, let's shoot something. Yeah, life slows down. Life slows down, man. And, uh, for me, fuck, I ain't getting no younger, dog. Yeah. You don't need it? Like, you don't feel like you need, like, a three, four days to do nothing? He'd probably do. See, that's what I'm wondering, too. How do you not feel like that, man? That's how I would feel a lot. That's how I feel yeah. sometimes. I'm happy to have that downtime. I had downtime. In my world, that was downtime. Yeah. Those couple days over Christmas, that's downtime. You're but you had too fam, much of it. You're recharging, blah, 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 blah. In the back of my mind, I want to be writing. I couldn't really write. Everybody was around me. You know, it was kind of distracting over the holiday. It was just... Yeah. It's a bit much sometimes, bro. I did write the fucking book, though. I did write the book every day, whether it was a sentence, a paragraph, a new chapter. I cut something in. I did do that, which was interesting. That's know? good. But the problem is when you go on the road, I lose that because the computer I have on the road just sucks fucking dick. Wow. It's a surface. And my wife is going to get me another one. I don't know what the fuck happened. I got to ask her what the fuck happened. Yeah. I, see I really, you know what, I only focus on that stuff when I'm home. And I only focus on it when it's early in the morning. Yeah. I really like to lock myself in. I take two hits of the pipe. And I wa watch that shit. You know? That daddy work. Yeah, it's good, man. It's when your brain is nice. Did you get to watch the Ronda Rousey fight? And loose. Nah, honestly, bro, I don't like watching women fight, bro. I, like, I, like, I watched a lot of women's street fight when I was growing up. What? A lot of, uh, yeah, these chicks are always fucking fighting around us. So oh some of it I don't like. I do respect it. I think these women are tough and talented, you know, unbelievable. Did you watch it, Lee? <clears throat> yes, sir. What did you think? I thought, well, personally, and I've said this before, that I thought just unsure that, like, they want the, I was like, why are they making Wanda the favorite? She's been gone for a year, and this, and this other girl has been crazy good for a while. And my dad was saying today that usually she usually attacks and just gets people down, and in 12 seconds they're done. And she didn't seem like she had the same urgency this time. That's what he said, and he he's a very amateur fan. And to me, I don't, I, I don't even know about that. It just seemed like... I don't know if she has to be there for a contract or it like it, it didn't even it didn't even look like uh a fight was put up to me. I thought it was very sad. Yeah, like I watched I, it. I watched the replay. Like I said yesterday, I said, you know, right before it started I went to the bathroom as I was pissing, I said, you know what? Ronda's gonna win this fight. Let her win. Let her retire vent her frustrations on the media and how she felt and how she was treated tell a few people to go fuck themselves and you never see Ronda Rousey again unless she's a spokesman for Fox Sports or something yeah they'll get you know what Nunez will fight somebody for the interim belt and she'll get the championship back nobody's feelings get hurt here this could be this couldn't end a better way I come back I sit on I put my feet up and they're off and I see what happened. A part of me was so fucking sad. A part of me was so fucking sad because a part of me thought that she'd never recover from that. Mm. If it took her that long. Say what you want about Conor McGregor. He got choked out and a week later he was out there talking shit. That was the difference between Ronda and Conor. That's what you think the difference is because... That was the big difference, okay? You can't sit in your house. We all lose. I understand you worked hard. I work hard. You work hard. Lee works hard. We all fucking work hard, bro. To, 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 to do anything in this business, yeah. to make a dent in this business, you have to work hard to excel in your field, whatever field that you do. You have to put that extra fucking hour in that nobody knows about. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You get to work like, ah, but you want that fucking IT job or whatever job you want. You got to put an extra two, three hours in on a Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what life is all about. Even if you do it at home, you wake up two hours earlier. We all fucking do that shit. What are we talking about? Rousey. Rousey. But, you know, now she's saying, you know, they made a statement 
And dog, nobody was sadder than I was. It's not like I bet her or nothing. I just, there was no reason to. You know, it was I was very entertained with Dominic Cruz and the other guy, if I was gonna bet anything, that fight I was just gonna sit back and watch. And while it was going down, man, I thought about everything. And I'm like, you know, again, I saw hitting pads with the guy. I saw her doing nothing different. Yeah. I didn't see nobody different sparring with her. I didn't see no kickboxer in there sparring with her. No. I just saw her hitting pads. And it all came to me, and I felt sad. And I feel sad that she lost. I can't imagine how bad she feels, you know? Yeah. To lose two in a row and like that on national. This one here, that I think a lot of people feel the way I did. She wasn't even in the game. Yeah. It seemed like at first when she got hit, it came to her that she was in the fucking octagon. That's what it seemed like to me. And she was all gone from there. Like Rogan said, she threw a couple kicks, which is something out of her repertoire. And the move she does so greatly, it was greatly, it was gracefully the chick escaped from it and returned the punch in there. So, Yeah, I think maybe you could be right, Lee, that it was just a contractual thing, you know? I, I have no idea, and I, I have no interaction with this guy, but why do you guys think she sticks with a certain coach who, from whenever you hear... Is Maybe they love her. No one likes her. No, well, she's dating someone else who she brought to that coach. May, I mean, who knows? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Well, you know, man, sometimes loyalty is loyalty, even if sometimes if it's blind. If that's what it is with him and her, God bless her. At least she's loyal to someone. You know what I'm saying? Oh, amen. They're getting A lot done. of the tapes are being released from the fight and stuff. and people have said something listen i'm not an expert in boxing or mma that talk about who's a good coach or who's not a good yeah. fucking coach i don't know anything about that shit all you know is the results in the octagon or in the ring you know i know freddie roach is good because the filipino guy pacquiao has been champion for two thousand years yeah i know whoever trains floyd May mayweather must be good because whoever trains him I know the guys down Winkle John down there down in New Mexico, they're good. They got John Jones, they got BJ Penn, they got Carlos Conduit, and the list goes on and on and on. We're going in like fucking Marines, you understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.